There's two ways you can do this. One is typing it in and two is scanning it in. If you see a barcode, you're gonna be really happy about this, I promise. Click on calories or calories remaining, that's the number to the right. And what you wanna do is you're gonna see breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to put it into each individual spot. I, I don't really do that. I just usually pick breakfast and throw it all in because I just need to know the total calories and macros for the day. You wanna add a food. So you see, I'm gonna put it on lunch, okay? I'm gonna type in Quaker oats, lower sugar, and here we go. You can see that the it has one packet, so you can change the number of servings, however many you had. I'm gonna have one packet, and then there it is. It breaks down all the macros for you. You can go in there and click and see. You can click on your uh, calories remaining, and it will tell you exactly how many actual macros you have left. So it's very, very narrowed down for you. Now, the really cool thing is, if you don't wanna have to go search for it, if you see a barcode, you're gonna be really happy about this, I promise. Click on calories, or calories remaining, that's the number to the right. You can add food. You see the barcode scanner there? You're going to scan that barcode, and there it is, it brings up that one serving, you can again change the serving, whatever you need to do. Let's say that for some reason the barcode doesn't work or you don't have the box uh, and you could not find the actual name brand of Quaker Oats, there's still gonna be some sort of generic option. So you can just put in oats, you will be able to, see, so right there, see there's a generic oats and then you can still put in your serving size, which this is where I would highly recommend invest in something like a scale, measuring cup, measuring spoons, very important to be accurate with it.